Another ranked on rank game in the SEC takes us to Jerry's World, where it's Arkansas against Texas A&M. The Aggies are short two-point favorites. Totals 50. Jimbo Fisher 0-4 ATS against Arkansas as Texas A&M head coach. Chip, is the trend our friend? Do we keep on fading Jimbo against the Razorbacks? Yes, Hakeem, and I didn't even know that. I was just saying Arkansas <laughs> plus the points, Arkansas money line, and now you're going to give me that juicy nugget to add onto my plate. Uh, what, what, what a plethora of reasons to take Arkansas. Uh, number one, Arkansas does have a pass defense that is suspect. Unfortunately for Texas A&M, they do not have the pieces necessary, a.k.a. a functional passing attack, to be able to take advantage of that Arkansas defensive weakness. Bobby Petrino in Missouri State had a better chance of taking advantage of Arkansas's weakness in that game than Texas A&M does here. And then I think that this Texas A&M defense is going to find it really tough to go up against this physical Arkansas offensive line over the course of four quarters. It might be a little low scoring. I wouldn't hate taking the under, but ultimately I think this plays out the way that last year's game did in Jerry World, where Arkansas gets out to a lead and then just sits on Texas A&M like a bully. K.J. Jefferson using that physicality to be able to sustain drives, keep the ball out of Texas A&M's hands. I like Arkansas to win the game, and I'll take the points. I will, too. Take the uh, points. You won't need them. Arkansas wins it outright. It's like the stoppable force versus the the movable object with these two teams. A&M, like Chip said, can't pass. Arkansas can't defend the pass. So there's really no edge there. But even though Arkansas has the worst pass defense in the country, they have the most sacks per game in the country, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it's reality. So if that's the case, then... You're going to get Texas A&M behind the sticks. You're going to get Texas A&M in second and long, third and long. You're going to force them to pass, and we know Texas A&M does not do that. So this, to me, like Chip said also, own the line of scrimmage. What did we see in week two when Texas A&M lost to Appalachian State? Appalachian State owned the line of scrimmage. K.J. Jefferson, Rocket Sanders, ground and pound. I like the under as well, but Arkansas money line in this one is just easy money. Wrong team is favored here. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.